Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, this is another part in the series of how to install Windows 11 on a unsupported hardware. Once again you'll have to make sure you understand how to have your PC in legacy mode, no secure boot, and make sure that you are set up so that the PC can boot from a USB thumb drive often will require maybe at boot up that you press an F key on the uh, keyboard or escape depends on the computer F2, F10, F12 or escape it depends on the brand of your PC the age of your PC there are all sorts of different ways and make sure that you have the uh, setup for USB thumb drive uh, boot so that it can boot from the drive now you followed my previous video which is downloading the image for Windows 11 22H2 and downloading Rufus which is the software you see here on your screen you put your USB thumb drive on the USB port before you start Rufus Rufus will detect it automatically as you see here it says flash drive here and you choose your image so here I have it in the download folder here it is Windows 11 22H2 English x64 I open this opens up more options here you do not want GPT the partition you will put MBR good old master boot record and here it's going to change for BIOS type of um, boot up now for the rest you don't touch anything everything is okay here you click the start button here you have the options to remove the different things so for example the first thing you will want to remove is the minimum requirements by putting a check mark here remove requirement for 4 gigabytes RAM secure boot and TPM 2.0 this will modify the image so that this is not checked and you'll go through without having this verified so no TPM no problem no secure boot no problem and if you don't have the minimum requirement it's still gonna work then you have the ability to remove requirement for an online Microsoft account. You can put that check mark here and have that so that it will not want you to create a Microsoft account if you do not wish to. You can also have it done automatically if you want with the regional options and all the information. It will take that detail from the PC you're actually using, so make sure that it's all right. But honestly, the two first is probably what you'll want to do. Once that is done, you click the OK button, and you'll see that it's going to say it's going to destroy all the data on the drive. You click the OK button, and here it goes. You're going to see the uh, file system and the information being done. So you're going to let it do what it has to do, copying the files on the USB thumb drive, making sure that it creates the bootable drive that you want. This is the exact setup that I've used on my PC. Uh, my old PC I had no hard drive uh, in it uh, because of tests that I've been doing. I just put in a, in my case, a uh, empty drive that had nothing on it, so it wanted to boot anyways from something else immediately because it didn't have any boot drive. So it went directly to the USB thumb drive. Uh, remember, in the case of a PC that already has an operating system that it boots from, you might need to press an F key when you see the boot screen. So it's very important to check that out. That's how you're going to be able to select. Make sure Secure Boot is not on. You will never be able to boot from this USB thumb drive if Secure Boot is on in your PC. Some older PCs, like this 10-year-old PC, for example, that I've used, uh, the Toshiba, does have Secure Boot. It existed back then, 10 years ago. So once this is done, <clears throat> you just eject the drive and you'll be ready to use that on your old PC or unsupported PC to actually install the Windows operating system. I'm going to show you screenshots in the next video and tell you what options that I've chosen personally and options you have available. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.